welcome back to another episode. And I hope you guys like some of the changes. Uh, we added some lights in here for kind of a different atmosphere when filming some of these uh, talking videos or parts of vlogs. Just something just to kind of change the way it looks. But anyway, today is going to be a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting in the comments. And that is my 2018 bass fishing rod and reel arsenal. Oh man. But uh, last time, last year, when I did the rod and reel arsenal, uh, I kind of talked about what things I like to use the rod for, tips, techniques, what line to use with a medium, medium heavy, heavy, a whole bunch of that crap. So this time, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rods over there on the rod rack and I'm going to kind of lay it here on the table and I'm going to say what the rod is, what the reel is, maybe the gear ratio, a few whatever, a little bit about the reel, but I'm not going to make this a super long video. I'm, I'm going to try to keep it to like 10 or 11 minutes. So, um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go here and get these and take them and put them right here. So, oh man, not a lot has hit me in the head. It's changed from last year's Bass Fishing Rod and Reel Arsenal. It's basically going to be the same thing, but there's a few changes. So I guess that we can start with, uh, yeah, we'll start with uh, the Antares DC and kind of go from there. You have the Shimano Antares DC. Yeah, it's the 741 High Gear paired up with the G Loomis IMX Medium Heavy Power Fast Action Rod. And if you're wondering about the line, that is 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And of course, that is a half ounce jig. That is rod and reel combo number one. Okay, so so next up, you have the Shimano Cronark MGL. It's a 6-2 to 1 reel, and it's paired on another G Loomis IMX, except this is a medium power extra fast action. Okay, next up, you have the Shimano Metanium MGL. It is a 6-2 to 1 and it is paired up with a G Loomis NRX medium heavy power fast action. It's definitely one of my go-to rod and reel combinations. Now that is a Shimano Cronark CI4 Plus. It is a uh, it's a 7 6 to 1 gear ratio and it is paired up paired up with another G Loomis NRX except this NRX is a heavy power fast action and let me tell you when they say that the heavy powers are more sensitive and they, and they claim that they're better than the medium heavies, I agree with it. Last up, well, last up for the G Loomis rods, you have the Shimano Corrado 70. That took me a second. It's a, uh, yep, it's a 7 2 to 1, and it's paired up with a 6 foot 6 medium power fast action G Loomis E6X. Uh, you'll, you'll see me using this a lot for like uh, crankbaits and really light baits. It's a great setup. Okay, we are going totally out of order here. Now you have a Shimano Casitas 7 2 to 1 high gear on a St. Croix Bass X. And the Bass X is a 7 foot 4 heavy power fast action. I've got 65 pound braid and this is definitely my frog and rod. Uh, and also like my heavy cover, like really heavy thick vegetation rod. Okay, so now that we're on the topic of St. Croix, <laughs> you've got uh, a Shimano Sitica. This is a, yep, it's a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. It's actually got 17 pound monofilament on it, and I have it paired with a 7 foot 1 medium heavy power fast action St. Croix Legend Tournament rod. And yes, that is a uh, River to Sea Whopper Plopper 130. And one interesting thing about this medium heavy rod is I've found that it is great. Uh, to also use for big spinner baits. It's with both fluorocarbon and monofilament. Now that is another Shimano Casitas, except that is the 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, and it is on a 7 foot St. Croix Avid X medium heavy power fast action. All over the place. Now you have another Shimano Cronark CI4 Plus, except this is not the 7 6 to 1. It is the 6 2 to 1, and it is paired up on a Gander Mountain Angler Bass 7 foot 1 
medium power, moderate action rod. I do a lot of crank baiting with this rod, all different kinds of crank baits for that matter. Okay, so now on to the spinning tackle. Of course, it's going to be another Shimano. <laughs> Uh, you have the Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. That is the most recent one. Paired up with a 7-foot Megabass Levante shaky head rod. And I like to use this rod for like a whole bunch of finesse applications. But one thing that I really like to use it for is jerk baits. Normally I would fish a jerk bait on like 10-pound test fluorocarbon with a medium power fast action or medium power extra fast action casting rod. But I've found that I really do like to use this setup for jerk baits a lot. It plus, you know, I, I also take it fish doing when I uh, go river fishing. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, another Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus, except that is the 3000 size. Uh, the last one's the 2500, excuse me if, if I forgot to say that. And then that is paired up with a seven foot medium power fast action St. Croix Triumph. And if you're wondering why is there a square bill crankbait on there right now, that's because this rod was used to try and do things during a, a couple smallmouth river fishing videos that I did. And uh, some of the catches just didn't make the cut. <laughs> the last one is the Shimano Nasi. It's a 2500 size. And it's paired up on the six foot six medium power fast action Shimano Sojourn and it has a jackal jerk bait on there and many of you know this is actually the rod and the reel that Shimano sent me and I still do plan to fish with this in my next fishing video whenever that is and let's be honest I used to get asked all the time but now it's only once in a while but anyway do you see that and leave me a comment in the section below what is that I know what that is but I've had friends and people who have seen that and even a couple other youtube channels that said well that's a striper no that's a hybrid so do me a favor and leave me a comment about that in the section below so that is going to be it for me for the night for the day whatever you want to call it i really hope you guys enjoyed this bass fishing rod and reel arsenal episode because you know i haven't been doing a ton of ice fishing i've been working you know seven days a week as always and I haven't even really had a lot of time to film videos. I mean, but I'm hoping with the arsenal, the change of lighting, and the different filming settings that I'm trying, I, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And also, before I forget, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything you want to know about any of the rods, reels, the line I use on those, or whatever, let me know in the section below. And you guys know I, was, I can't even talk. And you guys know I will respond to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And I will see all of you guys next time. Got it. Oh, that's a pig. Oh yeah, get the net. Oh, got it.